Hey guys, Chelsea here. Um, I'm going to do an official giveaway because even though um, I mentioned two um, patterns that I was giving away on my most recent video, nobody has commented on them and I'm thinking maybe that's because I don't, I haven't posted in the, um, I didn't post in the, in the, I didn't post in the title that there was a giveaway in here and um if anybody is like me like sometimes I might fast forward a little bit through a video I mean most of the time I I watch a video all the way through so yeah but um I I, I wouldn't be surprised if people fast forward through my videos um sometimes I jabber or sometimes I have to pause myself because I'm thinking so yeah anyways real quick like I'm gonna go through everything um I'm just I'm going just to make this easier I'm going to go through everything first I'm not gonna do any bundles I'm just going to uh how, how do you say, um, pick winners for each, uh, project. Um, and as usual, you can enter into all of them. You can enter into one of them, you know, any, um, not anything goes, but, um, yeah, basically I'm saying you can enter into all of them or if you just want to enter in one, that's fine, but you'll, will only be able to win one prize. Um, however, if it just so happens that like, well, maybe not. No, actually, I, I take it back. I was going to say that like, if somebody, if only one person, you know, entered into one thing and then they won, but they also entered into another thing and they won that one, that wouldn't be quite fair because they already won that first thing. Um out of uh yeah see here we go again i'm losing my train of thought so let's just go with it so we have this mill hole kit and if you watch my pre previous video you will know that i finished this so um this i'm going to turn it around because it doesn't have the uh pattern on the back there is still leftover thread i think there is enough to finish it with some of the thread, but I know of like I think some of the threads you could probably get away with you with um using them and finishing the project, but others maybe not enough thread. But I'm leaving them in there so you can compare and contrast the colors, and I do believe that it tells you which colors are which, and I do believe they are DMC colors. Now, in terms of the beads, I did have um, my own of this very light green color there, so I added enough to where you should definitely have enough for those beads. I think you might need more of the, the blue beads there and then this one, um, yeah, you may need more of both. But again, it does tell you what beads you need. Um, there's, I believe I have the beading needle still in there. Yeah, I think I have the beading needle in there. The only unfortunate thing is that it, it you wouldn't have the charm to go on top. Um... I didn't think it really needed the charm, but I liked it enough to put it on mine so it no longer has the charm either. So, has the floss to compare and contrast, um, but if, um, as many of you have, um, no, many of you who have done these particular Mill Hill kits know that they tell you what the what the number of the colors and the beads are so yeah i'm gonna start stop babbling 
it said something about a magnet being included, but I don't even I don't even think there was a magnet in here. There was, I didn't use it. So, anyways, that is number one. So as I'm going through these, it'll be one, two, three, or you could be specific and say, hey, I would like to enter into the sea turtle kit. So there's number one. Um, I recently went through these, um, well, maybe not recently, but I, maybe like a, several months ago, I went through these again, but um, if nobody claims any of these ones that I'm going to be going through right now, I'm probably just going to like recycle them because I'm not going to do them again. So I'm kind of sick of keeping these copies. So I'm just going to get rid of them. Um, so if nobody enters into them, that's totally fine. I'm just going to toss them. But this is um, what well, used to be a kit. It's no longer a kit. They didn't give me enough floss for it. So... I mean, but it's a rainbow. It's a small one. I'm, I know you guys are very smart and probably smarter than me to um, pick your own colors. Or Yeah. I did not mean that rudely at all. I'm just, I'm trying to say that, like, I know you girl, you guys, girls, guys, what have you are smarter than me and would be able to pick out your colors better than I would be able to. So that's where I was going with that. So I'm sorry if that sounded rude. Um, but yeah, it just comes with the chart. So you would, um, no, no needle, no fabric. So yeah, that's number two. Then number three here is biscuit. Again, just the chart. Um, and hold on, I'm not 100% sure if, yeah, they unfortunately don't give you, like, options, they don't tell you, like, what colors were you, I mean, they say very dark brown, brown, tan, pale tan, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But they don't tell you if it was BMC colors or what have you. So you would, he might be a little bit trickier, but to um, pick out colors for, I'm, I'm not sure. Again, I'm, I'm not the best at picking um, at like um, con conversions. I'm not that great at conversions. So, but yeah. That's number three. Number four here is Pink Floral Cat. Oops, sorry, trying to get rid of that glare. This is Pink Floral Cat. Again, just the um, chart and, sorry, didn't mean to quite do that, but I do believe this one um, tells you, no, this one doesn't tell you either what the DMC colors are, but I figure she, or he, or he, would probably be easy to pick out, like, your own colors, or heck, you could even probably change the flowers to a different color if you wanted. So, um, that would be number four, I think, right, one, two, yeah, that would be number four, the pink floral cat. Again, the, those ones and a couple more here I have if nobody wants to enter into them um, I'm pretty much just gonna toss them not that not that that's motivating anybody to like actually pick it because I mean you have to like it if you know I don't want you to take it off my hands because I'm gonna throw it away I want I want you to like it you know um, and here here's live love laugh. Again, I'm pretty sure it doesn't give you the DMC colors. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I think there's, I think there's actually only, like, I don't think there's more than, like, ten colors in here of that. 
So that one would probably be a good, an easy um, conversion or, or trying to pick out the similar color. Um, so that's number five. I'm going to lose count here in a minute. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that was five. Live, love, laugh was number five. And this is the last of the ones where I'm basic. So basically they've been used, obviously, obviously Chelsea, you know, if it's a kit and there's no floss, then obviously Chelsea, you've used them already. Right. Um, and then this is the last one, Hummingbird and Morning Glories. I'm pretty sure Dimensions does give you um, the conversion or, or tells you what um, numbers the uh, colors are. Possibly, not one hundred percent sure. I could be wrong with that. I could be wrong about that. But yeah, and there's that one. So that would be number six. Now the uh, now I'm getting into the ones that are new. I haven't used. Um, haven't really even been opened. Well, I mean they may have been like opened because I wanted to see what the chart looked like, but. <laughs> You know, they're, they're not, um, they're unscathed, uns, unscathed, I don't know what the word is. Uh, so the Cricut Collection, trick or treat, but it also comes with these cute little teddy bears. And I just, you know, realized that I'll probably not do this because much as I love Halloween, I don't know, like, for some reason I don't really like the house. Um... And I don't really like that ghost, but it is a really cute pattern, but it's just no longer my taste. So there's that one. And then here, everybody probably knows um, Andromeda here. I I'm definitely have opened this, but um, again, I haven't, I hadn't started it, so there's no highlighting and it should it's still intact no no it's not scathed and I will also include the um the krennic that goes with it oh fiddle faddle um I believe the cricket collection one was number seven hang on ah one two oh fiddle faddle one, two, oh, for Pete's sake. Well, yeah, if you, um, I believe this was either number six or number seven. And if, um, um, so then this means this is either number seven or number eight. <laughs> I'm sorry. I told you I was going to lose count. But yeah that one again that comes I'm giving you the credit for that one and then okay I promise pinky pinky square here pinky square that was just a fist Chelsea yeah that was just stupid I'm I'm a moron but I'm a cute moron um so anyways like I was saying I pinky promise cross my heart Hope to die, stick the needle in my eye, that these are hard copies. They're not, um, I mean, they come in the plastic. I, ha I haven't even opened this, but um, this is a quick stitch, the white rabbit, white rabbit, <laughs> um, by uh, Hannah Lynn. So, yep, if you're interested in her, she would either be eight or nine. And then, actually, you know what? I, I'm kind of thinking that I might do these two as a bundle because they do kind of, they do go together. It just so happens that I did get the full series. Um, I'm working on Mad Hatter. I have Alice, who I absolutely adore, and I also have the Queen of Hearts, who I absolutely adore. It just turns out that I no longer care for the white rabbit like I know I would kind of I, I almost feel kind of obligated to keep them so I could complete the set but 
I also talk to myself about like, you know, when are you ever going to get a chance to fin to start and finish these? Because obviously, if I don't like them as much as another pattern, I'm going to go to the other pattern, and I'm and these are going to get keep getting put on back order or not back order back start. Um, you you get what I'm saying? They're going to be put to the bottom of the pile. So yeah, there's the white rabbit. And then there's the Cheshire Cat. So I do believe I actually this is going to be the only bundle I do because they do go together. So if somebody like really wanted uh, um, the white the white rabbit, you know, they'd probably want the Cheshire Cat too. However, if whoever wins um, the bundle, if they don't, if say they don't want the white rabbit, they only want the Cheshire Cat, then I'll put this back into the giveaway for whoever wanted the bundle, you know. Okay, so whoever wants these two patterns, it's going to be a bundle. So this would either be uh, nine or ten of, give of the giveaway. Um, if you could just, <laughs> because I'm apparently dumb, if you could just give me the specifics of what pattern or, or chart that you want. Um, that you would like to enter into. That would be fantastic if, if you could work with me. For that. <laughs> Again, I just apologize for my blondness here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep that as a package deal. Whoever wins it, if they only want one or the other, that's completely fine. I'll just do a redrawing for the bundle and that person will win the other one. So that is where I am at. Um, if you watched my previous video, I was almost done with a third page on Celia and... I just recently finished that and now I'm working on the next new page, but I'm not, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to show that right now because this is just clearly, um, it's just a giveaway thing. So there you go. If you want a recap, we got the sea turtle, or I will do a recap is what I meant to say. Sea turtle, number one. Um. Rainbow, number two. Biscuit here is number three. Pink floral cat is number four. The hummingbird is number five. Live, love, laugh is number six. Trick or treat is number seven. Andromeda, number eight. And then the bundle is number nine. And oh yeah, remember Krennic goes with Andromeda. And that is it. This was a longer video than I thought it was. That than I thought it was going to be. But of course, you all know me. I stumble and chatter all over the place. So, um, yep. Um, I'm basically just gonna give this like. A good month so maybe maybe by the end of August like if I end up only getting like five entries then I will know like hey okay people maybe aren't wanting these specific patterns and then I'll just end up drawing the names of who did enter but I am gonna give it to at least the end of this month it could be even a little bit into September before I announce the winners but don't, don't quite quote me on that just yet, but uh, that's where I'm gravitating towards. So um, I hope you guys are having a great day and staying safe and um, staying healthy. You know, I don't, I don't want anybody to have to go to the hospital or anything. So um, thank you for watching and subscribing and I just appreciate those who have like kept with me because 
I know I don't I don't do a video um, once a week and sometimes I don't even do a video once a month and I just yeah really appreciate those people who really like to watch my videos and my clumsiness <laughs> so um, happy stitching everybody bye